Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy G Shrimp. You know everybody, favorite baby daddy, the voice of the street, man. And, uh, okay, and today we back in, uh, Baton Rouge with it, wrong. Because, uh, I got just a, another email request. You know, I be, uh, uh, people always hitting me. I'll hit you back later, fam. And, uh, people be wanting to know. I don't know if people be asking me because... I'm into this YouTube shit or whatever, and then I told y'all not some new shit. Notification gang, I guess they figured they could ask me. So, the question somebody asked me was, Fredo Bang and NBA young boy still beefing? And I'm like, yes, they still beefing. And then she like, we ain't heard nothing, you know, nothing, nothing. Listen, let me tell you something about real motherfuckers. These guys beef. It's really real. And it's real serious. This shit go all the way back from when Fredo Bang was in jail. And G-Money was out here. And G-Money was coming up and making a little noise. And then, you know, I, I hate they killed G-Money. Because G-Money, if you listen to uh, his record, he said he couldn't kill young boy. Because he was, first of all, he was fucking young boy, little sister. And he knew his mama. So to him, he like, you know, if y'all listen to that song, he said, you surrender, son. I can't kill you. He, he was saying, I can't even kill you, nigga, because I know your mama. But that didn't stop young boy from allegedly dropping a bag on him. Now, this is how it happens or allegedly happened, y'all. So... Uh, Fredo Bank is in jail all this time. G Money out there kicking up Duff and basically back and forth with NBA by himself, right? Now, NBA, y'all gotta realize NBA was a shorty under G Money and Fredo. So he was a little nigga to them. So they looked down on him. You know, not in a bad way, but he was one of their shorties. So once he started rapping and got good at it, and G Money like, okay, you good at rapping, you good at rapping. But he wasn't really slanging no iron, you know. But I guess Ben them was already Ben and that other little nigga Joe and the mother niggas that NBA run with NBA got a lot of cousins. They all them niggas that he be with a lot of them guys are some kin to him. You know how it is in the South, you got big families. So then some of them was slanging iron, but a young boy wasn't. So that's why Fredo Bang didn't really take him serious, you know. But when G Money got hit, that fucked Fredo up. They had to call Fredo in jail and tell him G Money got killed. And uh, if y'all listen to one of the, the songs, you know, I don't want to be telling all their business, you know. He said, You ever had to send a hit from a jail phone? That mean, goddamn it, uh, somebody got to pay for that shit. And he probably talked to one of them niggas, hey, man, y'all y'all go out to handle that shit, especially while I'm in here. Okay, fast forward right now to what's going on in current time, right? Fredo get home, and uh, he mad the motherfucker, you know. He dropping, he stacking this little money up. He dropped that little song, Father, Father, about uh, G Money. And he doing this, he started doing a few shows, but you can tell he was still fucked up. So him and Quick was holding it down, you know. Quick, goddammit, uh, had a few diss tracks out about Young Boy. What I think got Boulevard Quick killed. I remember this day, specifically, I remember this day. Uh, somehow, they was on live, and uh, Quick end up seeing young boy mama on live and he said something like you know man fuck that bitch fuck you bitch and uh young boy seen that and that's the uh when y'all seen young boy in that room where he was talking he said i know i ain't tripping fuck my mama i seen that he caught himself you know why because he know he finna have something done to this nigga. So he know he can't say, all right, nigga, we go holler at you or we go send some niggas. To... So if y'all notice, he caught himself. He's like, oh, am I tripping? He caught himself and he like, all right, all right. 
If y'all know the NBA, he'll talk a lot of shit. But when he stopped talking, shit started happening. You know, see, he got that money. But what the fucking happened is he didn't let Fredo get his money up. Not Fredo money getting up. Now, they've been going back and forth, back and forth, body for body. So, Boulevard get whacked, right? Bam. They thought that shit was going to hurt Fredo. Fredo like, nigga, that ain't shit. They whacked another motherfucker, one of the NBA boys. He gets whacked and somebody else. And, you know, like, he, then y'all seen that other video where uh, Fredo said, man, they put their body on me. They thought it was going to tease me, you know. We know what we're doing. He said, we playing patty cake. You know, patty cake, patty cake, back to back to back to back. We know they go do this shit all day. So that shit didn't hurt Fredo like they thought it was. Fredo getting his money up. All he doing is paying shooters now. He paying niggas to go do this, go do this. Then somehow, <laughs> T. Grizzly and Fredo, bang, gets cool. Now, this the incident y'all seen in uh, Rolling Riles out here in Miami. Allegedly, y'all. This is the alleged incident. We don't know how true this is. These are my thoughts, some shit I done put together. Some of it I know, but I ain't going to say it like I know it. But, you know, just for the fans who really want to know, because somebody did ask me this, right? So, the incident in uh out there in Rolling Loud, if y'all know this, uh, Motherfucker tried to kill NBA young boy that day. It was a lot of shots. NBA them they strapped too. They jumped out and started shooting back. They done shot some old motherfucker down the street that worked in Hearst Corona place. Shot him in the head. He ain't had shit to do with nothing. Skint the little boy and uh NBA young boy woman was in the car with him, hit her in the arm fucked her up, she, she alright, you know, but hit her in the arm, so they really was trying to get at this nigga, you know what I mean, and be a young boy, I mean, when you get used to this shit, that shit wasn't nothing, he went right on stage and turn up, he turn up even harder, cause he felt like, yeah nigga, I told you, we living like that for real nigga, yeah, we living like that. But the police, like, yeah, they let him perform. As soon as he got off stage, they grabbed his ass. NBA knew they was going to grab him. If y'all noticed, when they was finna take him to jail, and his other boys like, man, why y'all fuck on He's like, man, leave him out. Do what they say, man. Do what they say. Don't get these police no hard time. Don't do what they say so we can get this shit moving. Because the quicker you go to jail, the quicker you see a judge, the quicker you can bond the fuck out. So you wrestling with the police back and forth and all that bullshit, you're only prolonging yourself to be in the jail longer. And if you give them a false name or something, your ass be in jail under John Doe. John Doe don't go to see no court. John Doe don't go see no judge. Pardon us, man. John Doe don't go see the judge, y'all. Oh, I'm knocking shit down. Oh, my God. Y'all got to excuse me for one second. So, so okay. Anyway, I'm back, y'all. So anyway, that shit happened out at Rolling Loud, right? Now the word is that was uh, T Grizzly Camp got into it with NBA Young Boy Camp, and they had that big ass shootout, right? NBA goes to jail, set for a while. It was quiet. They start tossing Fredo name around. Fredo said, hey, I ain't had shit to do with that. Leave me out of that shit. Although he knew what was going on, but he, like, leave me out of that. Uh, Goddamn it, T. Grizzly did that on the strength. Him and Fredo is real cool. And he, they tried to get at the nigga. They actually tried to off that boy, man. You know what I mean? They really tried to whack that boy, man. If he didn't have them pistols, that boy probably be dead. Okay, now, if y'all notice... Soon's goddamn it, NBA get out. T Grizzly Auntie gets hit. And if I don't know if y'all remember that, man. 
she got shot up. T. Grizzly was in the car with her. He got out to go in the house to do something. It wasn't even his house. It's like their family house, but one of their family houses in the hood. So he was just running in there, probably to grab whatever he finna grab and come right back out. And she like, no, nah. he's like, come on, go in. She like, no, nah, I'ma just sit in the car and wait. And uh, the nigga spent the block on him and uh, sent him. And uh, they probably had dropped the bag on him already. So when you motherfucker, you talking about money, people will do shit for money. And uh, they thought T. Grizzly was in the car, and they shot the car, up and they, they killed his auntie. And uh, that fucked T. Grizzly up. You know, but T. Grizzly ain't do no talking about it too much. He got quiet or whatever. Afraid of them to just turn them up some more. They went back and forth, and they studied at it. And then in the middle of all that, we had another casualty we lost. Y'all remember the other look at Molly G? I liked the Molly G. Molly G was going to be a hot little nigga. He didn't like young boy either, you know. And uh, I'm going to tell you, it's so crazy down there, the Baton Rouge guys, man. The town was so small. They be knowing each other. The nigga who killed, uh, the nigga who killed Lil Molly G was a nigga be with him all the time. And if y'all go back to the, some of his early videos, he one of the niggas, he shake hands with him, they throwing up the C. He in the video, the other video where he said, I'm going to slide today. And he got the AK when he in the hallway. This one of the niggas was in the room with him. And then... They goes to a nightclub, and this the same nigga who killed them, y'all. But guess who? This nigga some kin to. This nigga is some kin to Ben 10. Ben 10 and the nigga who killed Lil Molly G is cousins. So no doubt, goddamn it, young boy sent that bag and told him, hey, knock shawty off. I ain't finna play with Shorty, cause they knew if they'd have let Shorty get too big, he was gonna be a problem too. Like, uh, I know he wish he had got uh, Fredo out the way too, cause Fredo, if you notice all his videos, he getting more and more money, he shining more, bigger houses, and the mob getting stronger. When you got money, you can play pay shooters all day. You can pay niggas to hang around you and kick it and do all that. Look like the team getting strong. You know, I was just watching one of his videos right before the other lady just sent me the text. I had just was looking at the video. He said, nigga got that man said he shot at me. He lied. It's a bullet in one of his partner's ass, but ain't no bullet in mine. You know what I mean? So he like, man, I ain't been touched. And he said, you say you got shooters, nigga, what they waiting on? Now, the rumor is that, uh, Young boy got a hundred stacks on uh Fredo head, right? And Fredo, he said it in one of the other records, he said that too. He said, you want me dead, a hundred stacks ain't enough, nigga. You got to do better. Meaning you got to drop real money on that because uh, he got a hundred stacks himself so he can damn near match any shooter. If a nigga could come to him and say, Fredo, man, you know, young boy paid me a hundred thousand to hit you, man. All right, I'm going to give you one ten. Get the fuck out the way. I, right, I'm, I'm through. Or anything. Whatever going on, he ain't been touched down there. And he's touring and they going everywhere. Both of them. They need to let it die down and just get some money, which is what they doing. If this how real niggas play for real, for real. They stop talking, y'all. They, they ain't beefing on wax. These niggas is beefing in the street. You know, see, I know this street because I'm out here and I'm I'm out here moving around. I'm in these streets and I'm on the internet. I know what's going on and I know how to read between the lines. So that's why a lot of people be asking me questions because they know I know the answer to this shit. And and then I be knowing, I know, like I, I always say, sometimes I don't want to do some of these stories because I had to know the victim or the suspect. I be knowing some of these guys or know somebody that know them. So if I ask a nigga, hey, man, what happened with such said, Oh, man, you know his cousin. Woo. I'm like, damn, so I stop talking. Because if I get too much information, I'm knowing my guys know too much. You know what I mean? If you ask a nigga something and he give you too much information, you're like, yeah, you, you know a lot. You know way too much. 
You know what I mean? You know way too much, so stop talking. You feel me? Stop talking. So, you know, so if you want to know if that be for real, yeah, it's real, baby. For real, for real. And, you know, I hope these young boys don't kill each other because they talented, but it's beyond words now, you know. We got one, two, three. We got, man, they got like four bodies that I know of that I know for a fact come from that war. <laughs> that I know for a fact come from that war. So, um, ain't, ain't no stopping it. You can't just stop that shit like that, you know. You can't just stop that shit like that. So, it, it's, it's going to be a minute, you know. It might take somebody like a... Uh, Jay Z, Puffy, or one of them to get them two little niggas and man, look, man, y'all need to cool out, man, for real. Get them behind closed doors and you know, talk to them or even a street nigga, somebody you know can get them and make them sit down. But you can't make them bodies go away, you know, because a nigga can say, all right, I'm gonna leave it alone, and then they start sneaking and doing shit, and when they start sneaking and doing shit. Then uh, <clears throat> the game ain't being played fair. The game ain't being played fair when they start sneaking and doing shit. I don't like shit like that. If we, if we, if we, if it's on, it's on. If it ain't, it ain't. Let me know. You know what I mean? I don't want to play like we into it and we ain't, or act like we into it and we know we not. That's silly. If it's on, let me know it's on and we go rock it. How we go rock it, man. So, you know, I'm watching Fredo like I was just watching that video. He getting more and more cockier, cockier. And I'm on young boy probably sitting back like, mm-hmm. I can't wait to catch him slipping. But the dangerous part about this, y'all, is these guys got schedules they got to keep. So I'm pretty sure they keeping track of each other. Where young boy go be at tonight? He go be in L.A. Where we at? We in Louisiana. Okay. Y'all, y'all on different coasts somewhere. You know, y'all ain't together. But the minute they get close enough, man, you know, it's going to be a problem. And uh, they go out to nip that shit in the bud sooner or later. But how can you tell a nigga not to do something when he got not one, two, three partners dead? You know what I mean? Three partners did. Then you got to throw a T. Grizzly auntie in there. That's four. Because he was helping ride for him. You know what I mean? So, they ain't finna just stop. Young boy done lost a few people too. But the people, young boy done lost. Y'all don't know them. Because a lot of them were nobodies. You know what I mean? They were nobodies. So, did nobody know them. So the people young boy have lost, y'all don't know him. But y'all can hear it in his music, you know, when uh you hear him say, man, my boy little day go to work, he don't be fucking with nobody. And you go die because you put a hole inside his body. Yeah, nigga put a hole in his ass because they couldn't catch you, nigga. They couldn't catch you. I told y'all that the other day. When a motherfucker can't catch the biggest target, they will go out to the smaller target. All they trying to do is, man, justify what they doing. Nigga done took a motherfucker $100,000 contract out on your ass. He can't catch you. Man, he got to try to clip somebody. You know, so, goddamn it, if he hit one of them boys, hey, let's leave. he at least worth 25000 You know what I mean? So, nah, nah, oh, this nigga 75. I hope I can catch another one of these motherfuckers. Shit, I knocked four of them out, goddamn it, this shit. That's a hundred right there. But if I can get this main nigga, he worth a whole hundred by his damn self. So, you know what I mean? These boys just got too much money to play with, and then they talking and they telling on themselves. Some of them, you know, talking about goddamn it, uh, paying motherfuckers through the cash app. You know, I'm gonna send a hit. Pat, nigga got a cash app. Damn. You know, and uh, I'm like, really? Mm, okay. You know, eventually. Eventually. That's what's going to happen. The police going to have to uh, catch some of them guys. They can catch them through the cash app. 
or some shit like that, you know, so, you know, but, um, other than that, to answer your question, lady, yes, this beef is real, and it's still going on, it is still going on, you know, they not go call your house and tell you they into it though. So <laughs> that's probably why you don't know. So I mean, you did white right to call somebody you know or hit a motherfucker up on YouTube. Huh? Yo, what up, Marvin? you gotta knock that hard cotton. Yeah, Hold on, man. I'm on, I'm on the thing. Give me a second. Yeah. Yeah. There's one of my guys out there. He, you hear how he knocking like he's the police? He one of them goofy motherfuckers. That's for oh my God, my neighbor. Yeah, I'm on the recording. Can I let you in a minute? Mm -hmm. yeah, silly motherfucker, you know. But anyway, boy, I be uh when y'all hear me listening and shit, you know. Y'all see me take y'all out to the yard the other day. I, Many of us it is, and a lot of people in and out, you know. So, so I be here chilling, you know, nigga knock on my door, but he knocking hard like a motherfucker. He knocking like he the goddamn police, you know, and he ain't the police. And uh, whoever the fuck he is, if he ain't the police, he gonna get the shit shot at him, you know what I mean? But, you know, but yeah, for the record, yeah, that beef is still going on, man, you know. I hope they can squash it, man, but, uh... It just is what it is, man. You know, you kill my dog, I'm going to kill your cat, man. And uh, you can't get none of them bodies back. Once the body, once blood has been shed, that's it. I'm afraid these guys going to be just enemies forever. You know what I mean? The best thing they can do is just bow out and just stop fucking with each other, period. Like, fuck it, I'm let them get his money, I'm going to get mine and just let it die down. But I don't think it's going to end like that. One of them boys going to die. You know what I mean? And I think that's how they go in it. Them boys ain't trying. You know, young boy, a goddamn fool, and Fredo one too. You know what I mean? And it, it's fucked up. You know, I won't say it's fucked up, but uh, a lot of time when you meet your match and your rival, you know, nigga know how, how it is. I mean, that's damn near like Gotti and Dolph when they was into it. Uh, Dolph ain't no damn fool. He knew he had to respect Gotti. That's why he had a bulletproof motherfucking truck. Because he knew Gotti then would try to pull it. And they shot that motherfucker up allegedly. Put a hundred rounds in that motherfucker. And that, hey, that bulletproof stood up. You know what I mean? That bulletproof stood up. Like he said, that's the best 300000 he ever spent. That's how much it costs to get your car bulletproof, man. So you guys, when you get some money, you get your shit bulletproof, man. You be all right, man. You know. She bought G Shrimp, you know, and my favorite baby daddy, the voice of the street, man. You know, I'm out of here, man. Y'all, man, make sure y'all go to uh, YouTube and uh, subscribe. I need y'all to go to YouTube and subscribe. I see a lot of y'all been doing it. I sure appreciate it. Uh, I ain't wrote some of the guys' names down there. It's done it. There's so many of them, you know. Uh, I'll look Angelo G. He just subscribed. I appreciate it. Kevin X subscribe. I appreciate it. Brian Jacob. He subscribe. I appreciate it. Uh, Tyrese Taylor. He subscribe. I appreciate it. Man, y'all keep doing that, man. Like I said. We so close, y'all. We so close. We running up. We running up. We running the score up. That's what we trying to do, y'all. We trying to run the motherfucking store up so we can get them and catch these people, man. When we get this motherfucker monetized, man, woo-wee. When we get this motherfucker monetized, I'm going to start giving the clothes away. So if y'all ain't got no G-Shrimp shirt or nothing by now, when it get monetized, I'm going to start giving some of that shit away anyway. So don't even worry about it. I, I want you to go to t and buy some of that shit, but... In case you didn't, if you get a few subscribers, you give me 10 subscribers and I'll send you a shirt. You know what I mean? If you get 10 people in your house uh, and you get them to subscribe, i send you a shirt, cup, mug, whatever you want. If you go on the line and see all that shit I got up there and you see what you want, if you got 10 people, I will send it to you. I promise you I will. So... It's your boy G Shrump, everybody's favorite baby daddy, the voice of the street, man. I'm out of here.